with your feet. It's standing right behind you. I'll touch you if you touch me. Let the lady not. Tarantula. I can't feel my bingo. Don't forget hunt. Does it live in a jungle? No. Oh. Is it really fast? No. Does it live on the Great Plains of Africa? No. What is going on? Hold on, guys. Daddy, be careful on the road. Jerry? Get back in your car right now! Remain with your feet! evening neighbor i need a lap dance table five don't get too close the guy smells like asparagus pee and he's got a hook hand you're not a neighbor you're a pot dealer i have a smidge of marijuana down in mexico bring it back here by sunday night i will pay you one hundred thousand dollars it was way out of my league you don't have a choice what the hell's that i bought an orca i make a lot of money you're probably gonna get searched at the border you could wear a disguise bane from batman something like that <laughs> oh there's no drugs in here you got nothing to worry about how would you like to make 10 grand? Drug dealing? It's not drug dealing, it's smuggling. Me, crossing the border alone? Huge red flag. But families, hi! They don't get a second look. So I need you to be my wife. Come on! <laughs> look, I hired this dork that lives in my building and a little gutter punk. Kenny, meet your new sister. I've always wanted a sister. Get it off of me. We just have to dress up like a squeaky clean all American family. From rags to riches, cut the bag and ditches. This is my son, Kenny Miller, and my lovely daughter, Casey. Casey? Jesus. Hola, I'm here to pick up a smidge of pot. This is not a smidge. You got me moving enough weed to kill Willie Nelson, man. La conocía desde morro cuando era. This part of your plan? You folks can make camp with the Fitzgeralds tonight. When you've been married as long as we have, you're looking to spice things up a bit. I've never touched another woman before. I would be okay with that. So I guess we're swinging. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Here we go. I'll touch you if you touch me. Hey, little lady, don't you say maybe? Then I can leave right now. 
really like your family. Is that a you know rocket? What that is? is that a cucumber? Um, They're interesting. It's a big black penis. It's a skateboard. Skateboard, great. Of course it is. The big black skateboard. Turns out that we stole from an international drug dealer. You all die now. There's a family. We're not even a real family. My wife, she's just a cheap stripper. Okay, prove it. Have some respect. That's your mother. We have been shot at. Go, go, go! Kenny's been bitten by a tarantula. I can't feel my bingo. Will you relax? How about a little music? I seen a rainbow yesterday, but too many storms have come and gone, leaving a trace of not what God given me. Is it because my life in ten shades of gray? Es tut mir so leid, Mr. Cohn. Es kommt nie wieder vor. Ich schwöre bei Gott. Wenn du zu Gott sprichst, kannst du ebenso gut bei mir schwören. Die Stadt gehört Mickey Cohn. Und daran wirst du nicht das geringste ändern, Sarge. Wir verlieren Los Angeles an einen Gangster von der Ostküste. Ich bin die Zukunft. Das ist keine Verbrechenswelle. Das ist eine feindliche Besatzung. Ich will, dass sie in den Krieg ziehen. Gegen Mickey Cohn. Ich stelle ein Team zusammen. Ich höre. Ein kleines Team. Fünf, vielleicht sechs Leute. Gegen 40 Mann? An irgendwas muss man ja sterben. Und die lasst ihr zu Hause. Niemand wird je erfahren, was wir getan haben. Wir lösen hier keinen Fall. Wir ziehen in den Krieg. Womit verdienen Sie Ihr Geld, schöner Mann? Ich bin Bibelverkäufer. Wollen Sie mich hier rausbringen und eine ehrbare Frau aus mir machen? Nein, Mann. Ich wollte Sie eigentlich nur ins Bett bringen. Gallo! 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 Du kannst mich nicht erschießen. Du bist ein Kopf. Jetzt nicht mehr. Findet die Drecksbande! Killt ihre Familie, ihre Kinder! Ich muss das zu Ende bringen. Du bist ein Kopf. Ich pass auf dich auf. Ein Kopf, der nicht die Hand aufhält, ist wie ein tollwütiger Hund. Man muss ihn abknallen. Geh nicht. Halt mich auf. Los Angeles ist meine Bestimmung. Ach was. Dann findet sie! John, pass auf! Wirst du eine Kugel betteln, bevor das hier vorbei ist? In 1971, the Perrin family moved into their dream home. It's gonna be great. But they didn't know it was the site of a brutal murder in 1863 and countless horrors in the century that followed. What happened to the parents in that house was so disturbing, the family has refused to speak of it. Until now. First day, we fell in love with the house. I get my own room. The owner says, do you and your family a favor, Roger. He says, keep the lights on in this house at night. A couple of days later, it came back to me and I had an idea that something was wrong. From day one, there was a heaviness and there was a scariness. Things began to happen in the house. We started to see multiple spirits in the house. Yeah, see? It's standing right behind you. Because I was the youngest and the most vulnerable, I was approached more than anyone, and I actually had a relationship with that boy. But I think something bad happened to him. Follow me this way. I had gone to bed. I opened my eyes. The apparition started to come down to me. Look what she made me do. Uh. Nancy? From the director.
protector of Saul and Insidious. We waited 30 years to tell our story. Because 30 years ago, the world was not prepared for this. On July 19th, oh, God. experience the terrifying truth. Officers are going to be there any second. He's going back downstairs. Leia? Whoever this is, I suggest you leave that house before you do anything you're going to regret. It's already done. This marks the sixth girl murdered. Investigators believe they are dealing with a serial killer. I'll be here when you need me. You know that, right? I'm on my way home now. Love you too. Bye. Oh, oh my god. No, no. 911, where's your emergency? I'm in the trunk. I can kick out. There's no location. It's a disposable. No kid. Please help me. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Okay, listen, for us to help you, I need you to help me. Please. We're gonna fight. Can you tell if you're on a freeway or... Surface street. Freeway? Okay, kick the tail lights out. I did it. Good work. And I want to see if any other car is gonna be able to notice you. Now find a release lever. Please, I've been kidnapped! Open the door now! Hurt that little girl. You don't have to do this. 